And now on CRN Radio, it's time for Silver Moments with Dr. Marsha Baltimore. And now, here's Dr. Baltimore. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Today, we're going to talk, and I did some homework for all of you, we're going to talk about the oldest form of a union known to man, and that is marriage. I have a reference system for you to listen to for a few minutes of the books I've used, The Seven Stages of Marriage by Rita DeMaria, PhD, is the first book. The second is Men from Mars, Women from Venus by John Gray, PhD. The third is Getting Together and Staying Together, there's the trick, by William Glazer, MD. And the fourth and last is Until Death Do Us Part by Jeanette Lauer and Robert Lauer. Notice two sets of couples wrote the books. Glazer and Lauer. And that's what we're going to talk about today. How to make a marriage work, how long to stay in it, and how to deal with your partner and treat him nice or treat her nice. Lee. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is the first set of stages of marriage. Passion is the beginning stage. That's kind of like teenagers or in the 20s. You can't Keep away from this guy for the women and the other way around for the guys. I can't keep away from this girl. What happens with that passion is brain chemicals take over and nature sees fit to do that. You don't have to generate it. It happens to you once you start with the beginning of the kissing. You want that person and you feel good when you're with that person because your chemicals in your brain are actually changing while you're doing the kissing. So it's a feel-good time. My statement to that is be careful who you start kissing. <laughs> That's the name of that game. Make sure you really like the person. All right, that's stage one, passion. The second stage is realization. After you've been kissing for a while, you realize maybe you have faults and maybe he has faults or maybe she has faults or something. And you wonder if it's right and you start to share your personal needs with your mate, and your mate uh, shares his personal needs with you if you're a woman. Then you have to decide if you can enjoy each other for the rest of your lives together, even with the faults of the other person. You have to enjoy the faults, laugh at them, s figure out a subtle way to improve them, not, not mean, but subtle. We'll get into that later. So uh, you have to have realization of what you're doing. And hopefully you get to that realization stage before you have any children, because you're going to make up your mind, even before you have a wedding, that this is, person is for you. The third stage is rebellion, and that's a tough stage. If self-interest of yours overtakes the interests of the marriage, then you have a problem. For example, he wants to further his career in his career is in the aerospace company in Norwalk. She wants to further her career and it's in West LA where Hollywood is. You have to come to grips with that distancing or change the need or change the career. You have to come to grips with it because you're going to be driving like maniacal people. And so you don't want to get mean and you don't want to get outlandish. Outlandish could become a weapon. You don't want that. We'll continue when we come back. CRN listeners.